it is Jen. Hey, I want to come in and talk to you guys about do you need a license to open a braiding salon? First of all, go in the description below, check on my how to braid for cash, braid hair for cash. Of course, where I tell you guys how to start your braiding business and how I started my braiding business for $10. So you guys, let's jump right into it. Do you need a license to open a braiding salon? Uh, I don't know. Let's talk about it. Okay, so if we're talking about a braiding license just to own the salon, no ma'am. You do not need a braiding license to own a salon. If we're talking about a braiding license and you're going to be doing hair in that braiding salon, well, this depends on your state. I'm going to let it slide above and I'm gonna leave a link below. I actually did a video where I tell you guys which states need or do not need a license to braid hair. Yes, ma'am, I did that video, so check that video out after you finish watching this one. And if we're talking about just in general owning a braiding salon, yes, you're gonna need other licenses to run a legit braiding salon. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to go and talk to your state. Secretary of State, you're going to need to get a business license, LLC, uh, corporation, S Corp, all that jazz. You're going to need to get a business license. Then you're gonna need to, an EIN, and you're also gonna need a seller's permit. So if you're gonna be selling things like uh, lotions, um, perms, um, dye, things like that. You're going to need a seller's permit because those things are taxable. Okay. The next thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go to your city and you're going to go to the register recorder's office and you're going to register this business. Okay. And then you're going to have to register a fictitious name if you are not utilizing your government name as the name of your salon. Then the next thing you're going to have to get into, which is the State Board of Cosmetology. Yes, you still need to talk to the State Board of Cosmetology because you're going to do what they call an establishment license. And what an establishment license does is it signals to the State Board of Cosmetology that you have a, you have a salon, you are seeking this license, and these are the people that are going to be running this business, and you need to sign saying that, this is what you're trying to do. They're going to either grant or deny you of this. If they grant you of this, then the next thing you need to worry about is you're going to need to worry about having the people who rent booths from you inside of your salon to make sure that you, one, verify that they have a license to braid hair in your state if that's what you need in your state. And if they do need a license in your state, number two is you're going to have to display this person who's renting the booth you're gonna to need to display their license in their working area. The next thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need insurance. You're gonna need business liability, you're gonna need professional liability and loss of income. Now those are just some of the basics you're gonna need, but you're gonna to talk to your insurer and see what more other insurances you may need. The next thing you're gonna need is you're gonna to need to prepare because now that you've signaled to the State Board of Cosmetology in your state that you have a braiding salon open, they are going to come and inspect this Salon and salon inspections with uh, fines range from $25 to $1,000, even to a possible closure of your salon if it is not properly um, set up when the inspector comes out to your braiding salon. Let's actually go over to, this is California, so I'm going to go over to California the Board of Bar Barbering and Cosmetology, they actually give you your self-inspection. So they're asking you simple questions like, one, do you have an establishment license? Um, number seven, do all your employees have a valid license to be doing hair and that's displayed, right? Um, they may ask you, okay, are the supplies... Um, some of them disinfect, disinfected, how are you disposing of them? Um, they may ask you something like, okay, are new supplies and singular use, like, are they there? You know, they might ask you, clean, do you have clean instruments? Or they're even asking you, are the floors clean? Are the ceilings clean? Are the, is the furniture clean? Um, are the fixtures clean? Are they in good condition? Good condition. They're even asking you about hot and cold water. So these are the type of things that they're going to be asking you about when they come out to inspect. So just make sure that you're ready when they come out to inspect. So I hope that this helped you on, uh, you know, do you need a license to open a braiding salon? Make sure again, you're checking out my braid hair for cash in the description below. If you want to get started in your braiding business and I'll be talking to you guys later. Bye you guys.